What is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a guide on precision farming. Precision farming has just dropped for Farming Simulator 22. This mod right here will completely change your whole game. Also, this guide is hopefully going to help you show you what precision farming is and how to use it. It completely changes everything about Farming Simulator. First of all, where can you find it? Let's go over here. Let's go under latest. There it is right there. It's 64.69 megabytes. Uh, if you're watching this at probably a later date, you can go over to the Mod Hub tab, and I think it should probably be under gameplay. Yeah, it is right underneath the gameplay right here. So you might have to go down the list and find it right there, or of course you can search for it. Okay, let's get into a map and showcase Precision Farming DLC. Okay, so here we go. Right now we are in Elm Creek, and this is the field that we're going to be doing this on right here. Okay, this episode right here is basically going to be an introduction to precision farming and about how do you get started with it. This is probably going to be like a couple parts, so definitely check out the other parts as soon as you get done with this. Okay, first of all, there is a new help section with precision farming. So if you head on over to here, go to the help menu, there it is right there. You might have to scroll down on it. Oh, we got general, soil type, soil sampling, pH values, all that. Okay, but anyways, what is Precision Farming? Precision Farming mod adds more realism and aspects of real farming into Farming Simulator. The main focus is on different soil types which influence the growth of crops. So, the mod adds an overview map which is dedicated to new, more detailed information about the soil at specific spots on the map. The map can be accessed via the tab next to the world map in the menu. Okay, there is four different soil types. There's loamy sand, sandy loam, loam, and silty clay. This mod divides the ground into four types of soils. Each individual soil type has its own characteristics, which influences the growth, crop growth and ultimately the yield amount. Therefore, every soil type needs a special treatment to get the maximum yield from the field. Okay, first thing is, what you're gonna have to do first, soil sampling. There's two different ways. You can, of course, use this machinery right here to determine which soil type is located where on the field. You have to analyze the soil first. This can be done with a soil sampling device such as the Iskra Scout, which is available in the shop. Drive to multiple spots on the field with the soil sampling device. Take numerous soil samples until the field is fully covered dark red on the soil map. This color indicates where samples have already been taken. After that, you can send the soil samples to the laboratory for analysis. A few minutes later, you'll see the results on the soil map. Additionally, you can also see the pH and nitrogen levels. So that is what we're gonna be covering in this video, the soil sampling. There is also an easier way, which we'll show that off in a little bit. All right, first of all, we're gonna need something. Uh, I do have an extra mod on here. Let me actually get this right there. This is a shop mod that's available only on PC, but let's go ahead and get something to take our soil samples with. Um, let's go over to, um, uh, let's go to cars. Let's just get, this you will need a three-point attacher so you gotta love this mod just brings it right there okay also if you go down to the mods and dlc section there is a section that says precision farming dlc so let's go ahead and click on it, it includes a few things which we'll be going over later but right now the only one we're gonna be going over is the ishra scout which is seventeen thousand dollars no options on this one all right so let's go ahead and get this real quick Okay, let's go in here. Oh, I, don't, I have that thing on. Let me turn this thing off really quick. I, it should already start with it already off. Okay, so let's go ahead and hook this up. There we go, hooked up. Okay, what you need to do is bring up your PDA map. Uh, let me bring it up real quick. You see right down there. Oh, also something you'll also notice too. Let me actually get out of the vehicle. Underneath there, underneath the field info, now that it actually has a section that says precision farming, soil, no data found. There is no data found because, of course, we haven't done any soil sampling. So uh, that's going to change in a minute. So let's go in here. And let me bring up the help menu. Go to unfold, unfold soil sampling unit. So that's unfolding. Antenna comes out. Okay, and then we're going to lower it. And you see that reticle underneath there, how that little circle thing, that's what it is covering. So uh, let's go to about right there. Take that soil sample. You see it lowers. 
dirt gets filled into there and then it raises and now on the map a little bit section has turned red you know, let's go right over to here click on it again this one probably gonna take about four samples See, even tells you up there how many soil samples have been taken this mod was available in FS7, FS19, sorry, not FS17, FS19. And to me, I couldn't play this game without this mod. So, I'm so happy that it's now available in FS22. Now, let's go right down here. Let's get this soil sample. And then we should be done. There we go. Okay, since that is the last soil sample, what we're going to do is now lift that up. And if you hold down the LB button, you can see it says send soil samples for analysis. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And it says the soil samples have now been sent to the laboratory for analysis. You will see the results on the soil type map soon. Okay. So now we can close that up. And look, it's already done. $400 for four soil types. Uh, soil sample, sorry. And so that means about $100 for every soil sample. So... If we go over to here now, as you see down there, it actually says our pH value is bad and what our nitrogen level is. So it gives you more information on it. Also, if we go to here, let's go to a brand new tab right here, which is this right here for the precision farming. You can see the different soil types and everything right here. And you see 46 on that. Also, say you didn't want to, you know, do that soil sampling with the Israel at all. You can easily go right over here. Go to, say, click on field four. Actually, you can do the whole thing. Okay, it does the whole thing. So let's go ahead and finish that up. Push push Y for purchase soil information. And you see number of samples, 21. Service provider costs of 3,675. That's not too bad right there. So let's push A and look, automatically done. Also, if you're using a modern map, it uses a default soil map. So you'll be using a, the same one on A each and every map unless a modder actually puts in their own soil map on the map all right what is next on this so our whole goal is basically to try to get the best environmental score because when you get a better environmental score that means you're going to be actually increasing your yield by up to 15 percent so that is our whole goal right there all right the first thing you're going to be doing as soon as you get done with all the soil sampling is probably, you know, like either your plowing, your seeding, your tillage, stuff like that. Okay. What I'm probably going to be doing on here first is probably try to get that pH value up a little bit. So that means we're going to have to lime the field. So if we go under here, go under pH value, you see right there. Next to the soil map, you can find the pH value map. This indicates the acidity, I probably just butchered that name, or basicity of the soil. The pH value should always be the optimal target range depending on the soil tap type. Target pH values per soil type. Loamy sand 6.0, sandy loam 6.5, loam 6.75, and silty clay 7.0. The pH value can be increased by liming the field. This is recommended every third harvest. By default, the lime spreader automatically adjusts the application rate to the rate required to reach the optimal pH target level. But there is also an option to control it manually. I always do it automatic. Uh, if the pH value is not at the optimal level, the yield decreases. Depending on the soil type, the pH level decreases after every harvest. All right. So what we're going to have to do is go ahead and line this field. So let me go ahead and get a tractor real quick. So let's go right up here. Uh, let's just get a large tractor. Let's get this. And we're going to need, of course, something to spread lime with. Um, where we're at? Uh, lime, lime, fertilizer spreaders. Let's just go here, uh, six meters, and then we're also going to need some lime. Um, pallets, where's the lime? Did I just pass it up? Um, no big bags, lime, there we go. Let's just get two bags of lime. Okay. Right. You'll also notice something that's going to happen on the PDA too, so while we're doing this, Look at the PDA. This is probably one of the best aspects of this, too. Oh, you also can see right there the pH value lime applicator. Okay, so let's go ahead and filling right there. 2,000 liters. Let me bring that over here real quick. See, right now I have the application rate on automatic. But you can actually change, see, change nitrogen reference value. See? Uh, 
Okay, why isn't it changing? Probably because I'm lo uh, loading up. Alright. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I can see it right there. Okay, there's that. Nobody's detected. Okay, see, now I can actually see it. See? See, now it's on auto. Actually, it doesn't let me change it. I don't know why. Hmm. Right, so let's go ahead and line this field. And you see right there in the PDA, it's yellow. See, now let's go ahead and lime it. And you see how it's actually turning green in the PDA. This definitely helps, say, like when you're fertilizing like crops, like when it's at that stage where you can't see it at all. So we're going to go ahead and line this whole field. And you can see up there is it keeps changing because of the different kind of soil we're actually on. See, right now we're actually on lime. We're using about 5.26 tons per hectare acre. So let's go right over here. Yeah, this field's not going to take us long at all. And it should, just like an FS-19, turn off on us. When we like uh, go over some stuff that we've already done. Let's see. Yeah, see? It's completely off right now. So that is a big plus right there. See, and then it turns itself right back on. So no more having to, you know, waste that lime or that fertilizer on stuff you've already been over. See, there it goes turning itself off again. And as you can see the field right there, pretty much every single bit of it is green. And you can definitely tell like which one has different kinds of soil. Alright. Oop. Okay, there we go. Now if we go on the field, it should say, yeah, as you see right there, it says perfect. So it has the perfect pH value. So nice. Okay, after this, it's pretty much, you know, your tillage. Remember, if you're going to be plowing, it's going to actually hurt you. So, let me go right over here. Come on, let's go right over there. Let's go to environmental score. You see right there, tillage. Tillage affects your environmental score. So, deep tillage. So, no, no plowing because plowing burns a lot of fuel. It also brings weed seeds near the soil surface and makes the soil susception to erosion. So, plowing affects zero points. So, you don't want that zero points. Shallow tillage with incorporation of crop residues saves fuel, reduces erosion, and rewarded with 5 points. Minimal tillage and direct seeding gives the maximum score of 10 points. So it is definitely going to be helpful if you're going to do like direct seeding. So that means doing something like, let's go over to cedars real quick. Um, more cedars. There we go. Like if you go over to... Like these ones right here. The ones that says that pr no previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. Those are the ones you definitely want to be using right there. So you got a few over here, and I believe you got a... Do you have any on here? Yes, like the Kinsey right here. And the John Deere, and then this Kinsey. So you do not want to be using, say, let's go over to like plows right here, because those dig deep. I think disc carols will pretty much be like shallow, so that means maybe about five points minus... I mean, five points added onto it. Uh, we will be testing that out later. But anyways, this is the first section of Precision Farming. I will have a later episode out at a later time, probably later on today. Uh, remember, if you guys did like the video, make sure to smash that like button. Let me know what you guys think about Precision Farming and if you are planning on using it. Like always, have an amazing day. Talk to you guys later. Peace. We got our windows down